know it's crazy, baby, bro. Like, I watched, like, uh, I watched Married with Children. In my mind, I still see it, like, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, it's, it's caught up with the times. I mean, just, like, the footage and the picture of it. It's the best time, bro. Yeah, I had three little tacos. It was too, it was too. All right, what's up, familia? Welcome inside the pad. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep in between the lines. Got your load secure. All right, man. If you guys have been out and about where the action is at, you may have seen this couple out on the dance floor showing you what time it is. Homes. I'm very proud and blessed to say that uh, this couple is actually my people, man. And we're having an exclusive right here. I'm so excited to have them on. I'm talking about Gangster Boogie. Classy Chicana. Let's go ahead and let's welcome them on. What is going on, my people? Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, indeed, man. Um, man, I don't even really know where to start because you guys and I and my beautiful crazy look at wife, we've hung out numerous of times. I've seen you guys in action, and you guys always draw a crowd, but we'll definitely, definitely get to that, man. Um, Gabe, brother, man, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, just real quick, you know, uh, just a little bit of your history. All right. Um, if you guys don't know by now, I'm Gage Boogie. My real name is Gabriel. Um, was born in Norwalk, California, moved to Orange County, uh, moved to East LA for 21 years. I uh, was born up uh, Baldwin Park for a while, and then I came out here to Oxnard. And that's uh, where I'm at right now, 805. That's right. That's right. Shouts to the 805. Classy Chicana, Cecilia, a little Hello. bit of your background, girlfriend. Well, my name's Cecilia Gonzalez, but my maiden name in Oxnard, everybody knows me as Cecilia Madueno Espinosa. That's where I grew up, in front of Beck Park in Oxnard, California, known as Chicas over here. Yeah, yeah. I remember I went up there to go visit you guys and I got yeah. to uh, experience the culture up there in Chicas and the 805 and all that good stuff. I had a good time. I had a good time. It's all it's always a good time hanging out with you guys, man. Really oh, absolutely. Is. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, when I first moved out here to, to Oxnard, I wasn't too uh too comfortable, you know. Coming from uh from East LA, I came out here, I said, damn, you know, I'm moving in by myself, eh? So like I'm taking a big chance, you know. So um, but she made me feel comfortable. The people, the people here, you know, are really good people. Made me feel really comfortable. I had no problems, no discrepancies, nobody, you know, no mad dogging. If they were, I wasn't paying attention to them. But um, got to know some of the heavy hitters out here. They took care of me, took me under the wing, and not one, not one incident have ever happened here. Everybody knows I'm from Islos, and they're you know a bit of talk. Who's this new vato? You know, Danny Cecilia. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? But nothing ever popped off. Uh, the guys out here, you know, took me with open arms and stuff, and really good gente. You know what I mean? Really good people out here. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you know what? And I, I I could vouch for that, Holmes, because when we went up there, when we've been up there to visit you guys, everybody that you guys took us around had nothing but open arms. Everybody that took you guys took us around, everything, you know, now, you know, my beautiful crazy local wife, and now, now we're the outsiders. You know, you guys are bringing us in. And it's like, hey, these are our people and everything, man. And everybody, everybody just had open arms for us, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, you guys, you guys join, uh, you know, really good people, man. Serio, dog. So let me go ahead and throw this out there. How did, you know, we meet, right? How, how, how did we get first chopping it up? Well, for those who don't know, every now and then I do some music reviews. And one of my favorite singers is Pepe Marquez, who we've gone to go check out man he always brings out the party and gabe cc you guys are in the videos right and i'm just kind of looking at it like okay who, who are these couple man they they got the stilo down right they got the style down and everything 
And then I see this Vato man over there just moving. Like, damn, Vato can move, dog. I'm like, what a lay. All right, man. Hey. And then I threw it out to everybody that was watching. I'm like, hey, let's see if you can move like that, right? Gabe, you happen to see that video. What what happened, Holmes? Because you contacted me. You got you saw my email, man. What uh what made you do that, dog? Yeah, I think um I think it was Pepe that shot me that that text or the email. Said, hey, check this out. So I, I checked it out and and uh, I go, Dad, that's all right. You know, you, you gave us big love right there. You know, you know, put it put us out. You know, put us out there like that. And uh, and uh, I felt really good about what you were saying some really kind words. So I had it in my heart to you know to get back after you saying, well, gracias for the for the kind words. I appreciate that. You know, for uh, for recognizing because Rasa recognized Rasa, Chicanos recognize Chicanos. Wherever we go, eh, we we have a bond. You know what I mean? Sometimes we don't. I uh, have to. Uh, we have discrepancies among each other, but but we know when 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 two rasas, we can tell the difference who's who. I mean, we can tell that's our people, and we just bond together, you know. And that's what you did. You called me out on this and check out this vato. Check his, he's running his bungaroos, whoop whoop whoop, and this that and the other. And I thought it was really uh, kind of you to to uh, point us out in the whole video like that, you know. So I had to get back at you, tell you gracias, you know. Yeah, you know what? I'm wondering if any, if anybody even caught the word, the fact that I use the word Bonnaroo, man. Sometimes I say that word and they're like, hey, what does Bonnaroo mean, man? And I'm like, well, you might know it as G'd up, you know, but right, yeah, right. Bonnaroo'd up, man. So we can all go out there and uh, move it, man, the way you were doing in the music video. And ever since then, dog, you know what? We just started communicating and then we uh, we met up. It's like, all right, cool, homes, you know, we met each other's wives and everything like that, man. And Hey, man, next thing you know, dog, we're out there. Shoot, I mean, you're out there on the dance floor. You guys are out there on the dance floor making it happen. I'm out there, you know, just trying to uh, trying to make it happen. But I'm over here with two left feet, man. I'm over there watching what you guys are doing. Be like, okay, let me see. Let me see if I can mirror them a little bit, man, because I'm not really sure. Yeah. I don't want to twist my ankle, dog. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, we used to go with you. We used to hook up, you know, and we used to go with you. And people go up to you, hey, that's Cholo Trucker. Cholo Trucker, what's up, what's up? And, we know the lady sit back and what is about though, you know, he gets around, eh? Because we didn't know too much about you. you know what I mean, mm -hmm. we started following you, of course, but people were coming up out of the you know, out of the woodwork saying, Hey, how you doing? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I said, All right, this guy's speeding. But then and then it's kind of slowly turned. People start recognizing us too. It's like, you know what? It's okay, it's flattering and everything, but we're just like everybody else. I mean, we get down, you know. Uh, but uh it's always a good time to be with you guys, you know. What I mean, always go to Vasella, we partied out there hard, you know, we've gone to numerous concerts together, and we always have a good time wherever we go. There's nothing but respect and love for us, you know what I mean, that we have for you and you have vice versa. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, man. So um we let let's let's get into it, man. Um, you guys move like you're not supposed to move, especially you know, once the body starts getting older and older. But you guys, you guys are the epitome of like, hey, homes, age is a number, you know, we're out there, we're moving it up, we're keeping the party alive. Anywhere you guys go, you guys bring the party, and it's always love, man. I'll start with you, Gabe. Where did you learn how to dance? Were you dancing as a kid? Were you break dancing? What? What? How, how, well, how did you move, homie, like that? All right. There was a guy who used to teach my cousins how to dance in Anaheim. His name was Tommy T. Tommy Tucson, and uh, he's still around. He was a he was a sheriff back in the days, and he took. He used to wear the YMCA, he took my cousins under the wing, and he taught them how to dance, you know, pop locking and stuff. And and I was on the outside because I didn't live close, so I used to go over there once in a while. And uh, I wanted to be like that. You know, I wanted to watch him and dance with them, and he never gave me a shot. But uh, that's because I, I couldn't be there every day like those guys were. But uh, I picked up little things, went home, practice them, and, and go back, I show them. And that's how I learned. And then um, as I grow older, you know, I, I forgot about it, but then I go back into it. It's part of, it's part of you. It's part of, you know, who you are. That makes you happy. Well, at least that's who we are. It makes us happy. You see, when Cecilia and I dance, we don't dance to show off or to to put anybody under the bus or show or whatever the scenario might be. But we do it because we do it for each other. You know, what I mean, a lot of people get at us on, in the comments saying you guys do the same moves over and over or change it up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, well, let's check it out. How many moves do you have in baseball? You only have a certain amount of moves. How many moves do you have in in, in 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 football? You have a certain amount of moves. We don't have that many moves, yeah, but we. The moves we do have, we I think we're pretty good, eh? So, so we're gonna stick with that. We can't practice because I have a full time job. She's working, so we have we're grandparents, say eh? We've got grandkids, so it's not like we do full time dancing. We dance because we dance for each other, first of all, and the love we have for each other, not for other people to to give us bad comments, saying you know a bunch of trash talking. But the majority of the comments are really really good comments. 
uh, like 99 percent, you know, saying mm -hmm. thank you for representing the Rasa in a positive way. Um, teach your grandkids how to do that. That way they, the tradition goes on and on and on. And and that is flattering to us. You know, that's why we keep going. You know what I mean? Because comments like that really, really touch, you know, really touches us. You know, like yeah. there's a lot of comments. Some some of the comments made me like cheer, you know, cry it up a little bit because like, damn, you know, we really mean something to somebody. We can't stop now. Or there'll be times where I don't want to get all dressed up. And my wife would say, hey, hey, no, 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 we have to get dressed up. I say, why? I don't feel like it. This is who we are. We represent us now we represent rasa get dressed you know and she's right eh? because she's right you know we can't go out there all uh, you know fachas or anything so no, no what it is is because when we go out sometimes with musicians we sometimes you know we have a lot of friends that are musicians or they ask us to go up on stage with them or do videos and when we walk in they're dressed up but we have our own steedle so i tell them you know we go dress regular Nobody's going to recognize us. They're going to think we're just like everybody else. But if we dress up how we do, then they'll we'll stand out and they'll recognize us. And they do, right? They come up to us. Can we take a picture? You guys are the dancers. They recognize us because of the way we dress. So sometimes I have to make them iron his <laughs> zoo two pants for two hours, but he does it. But so back to the question is, uh, I kind of mix them together. You know what I mean? I, I kind of mm. like uh, a little bit of popping, a little bit of locking, and a little bit of, you know, Chicano, you know, Chicano Stilo. I kind of mix it all together. Um, that's that's my Stilo. People recognize that that's not a Stilo that's that's known that from out there or from here. You know, people know that I'm not from over here. Out of the gate, they can tell because of the way I dress. But the way I dance is, I think it's a little bit unique than everybody else because, like I said, I try to combine all those together to make who I am. Um, this is one homeboy named Kiko from East LA. I met him not too long ago. And, Really positive dude. I mean, and he was talking to me. He said, "Man, when I first seen you, you're one cold dude." And I heard that while that name in a while, you know, cold dude. Was, you're one cold dude. So I, I recognize. I said, "I appreciate that." You know, but we become friends. You know, um, if it wasn't for this social media, I mean, we've met so many people, so many positive, good people that we would never even known. That we wouldn't have known about it if we didn't do this dancing. You know, and and the only reason why we hit it because we went out one night, and uh, I guess it was Rocky Padilla. He, uh, took a liking to us and we started filming us and then that he went viral away eh? that went viral with uh that one song come and get your love by redbone yeah and that yeah. hit like 1.6 million in six months i mean it was everywhere uh, it was really flattering to see that because we didn't expect this to happen you know you guys were there with us oh that's right that's right yeah. you guys are in the background yeah 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 well, it was well, at, we, uh, we were it was there was, uh, Pico, yeah Pico Pico Rivera. Rivera. We, it was in Pico Rivera yeah he was yeah. uh I believe uh he was Right. I, see I think he was up. I think he was elevated, uh, filming in down. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The There's a place called High Sienda right there off Wooded Boulevard. Yes. It was yeah. a Ray, yeah. Ray, Coron, Ray Coron events. Yeah, yeah, by the 605 freeway. And, and right, right, right. Wooded Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, we were there, man. Yeah. And you know what? I've been, I've been with you guys when somebody has asked you, hey, come up on stage. Come up on stage and show them what time it is, man. I've been there, so it's not just uh, you know hearsay. No, I've I've been there. We've been at a concert, and they said, "Hey, you know what? Come up on stage hey, for my birthday." You know, I was, I was kidding, yeah, we're kicking yeah. with you guys. Yeah, we're yeah. kicking with you guys for uh, for my birthday up in Fillmore, and it was just like, "Hey, you know what? Come up on stage and dance, man!" And I was just like, "Damn, go for it, man! Go get yours!" And you guys get up there and you guys go get it. Uh, Cecilia, do you? recognize a little bit well first dancing for you what does that mean how did you get into dancing have you always liked dancing did uh did you meet gabe and he inspired you to dance what what what's dancing for you well for me i grew up seeing my brother dance he's a break dancer pop locker his name's cedro espinoza they call him sid he danced for janet jackson in the all right video so I used to see him and watch him. I used to say, I wish I had moves like that, but I don't, you know, because he's really fast. And um, he would have his friends come over and I would like watching them. Me and my friends one time, we I told them, let's make a break dancing, you know, crew. And my brother was battling one day <laughs> and we went in and we had some sweats on and bandanas, you know, the girls. And we tried to jump in and everybody was cheering for us. And my brother said, don't ever yeah. do that again. Because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. But anyways, um, so that's where I used to like, watch people dance. I've never really been too much of a dancer, just with my family. I'm always dancing with my family or in the mirror. But when I met Gabe, we were at Chinaland. I took him to a 
China Land where we go dancing, and Money Poncho was there. They were doing uh, some kind of a concert, right? They were doing something. And um, they had a dance contest. And all my friends were all, you guys join it, you join it. Because Gabriel was, a, you know, he stood out here in Oxford. I said, I'm not a dancer. Just go in, go in. I was telling my friend, come and help me because she's a good dancer. Uh, my friend, Sylvia Ortiz. I go, why don't you go dance with them? No, you go. So I went in and I danced with them. And we ended up winning the dance contest for the Orange County Funk Fest, right? Yeah. For the Barquets. So Money Poncho is the one that picked us. So after that, I said, I think I better step it up because Gabriel's getting all the attention and I don't know how to dance. So I start watching him and I start watching Jane Brown videos because my dad used to tell me, look at James Brown. And if you can move a little bit like him, you can do something. So I would watch him every day and try to practice like his feet hung yeah. and do little things like them. And I just started picking it up and I'm watching Gabe and I would try to follow him. I mean, I don't have that funk in me too much unless I drink tequila, but no. I try. I'm being honest, I try. I don't have much moves, but, you know, I just try to, like, follow him a little bit, and then it makes me stand out, right? And believe it or not, we don't even practice, eh? We don't, we don't practice, so. He wants to, but I'm always lazy. And I tell him, you know, well, we can go to the next level. I mean, we can go to the next level and practice, and she says, no, nah, but she, she, we dance so uh, all the time together that she knows my moves, so she falls right in line. You know what I mean? Like, the video you put on a little while ago uh, at the pizza place, it's called, uh, what was the pizza place called right there? Oh, Pete, uh, Pirates? Yeah. Yeah, I think Pizza it was Man Dance. Pizza Man Dance. He used to have a, a nighttime. He turned into a nightclub. But uh, as you can see, I'll, I'll move one one side, one step, and she'll follow me and it'll catch on. You know what I mean? So she knows the movida. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just when she wants to, you know, uh, participate, she will. It's when I have a Cadillac in me, like tequila, <laughs> and I feel the song and I feel the beat. That's when I watch him, and then I catch up to his steps. Right. Well, let's yeah. uh, let, let's let's check a little bit of it out, right? Just so every you know, if people have not seen you guys let's show a little bit of what you guys do and we could just go right here and just uh narrate it i mean you guys are feeling it already again i've been there with you guys um when you guys are over here about to get going that like you start warming up and then things really start picking up like what is what does dancing mean for you both uh gabe i'll start with you homie what does dancing mean for you? Is it fun for you? Is it a way for you to express yourself? Like, do you have uh, a passion for it? But well, here I go. Watch, watch. She'll pick up on the steps. See that? She picked up yeah. on it quick. That's what she knows. I mean, that's what she. Her style is a little bit different than mine, but she picks up on it and she knows how to dance. You know, when she chooses. Um, mm -hmm. When we dance, um, it's, it's for us. You know, it, it's is. Uh, I I turn everybody off around me. I mean, I turn everybody off, and, and we just I look into her eyes. Like you see me there, and. She looks into my eyes and, and we just dance. We have a good time. You know, it's just. It's our therapy. Yeah, it's our therapy. We go out there and just mm -hmm. boogie on down. You know what I mean? And there's people out there. Sometimes there's, there's guys next to me that want to challenge me and shit. I don't even pay no attention to them. I'm not into <laughs> that. You know, I'm a little bit older than those guys are, so I don't need to be proving myself to anybody, you know? But right, we just have, right, right. We just had a hell of a time. I mean, we're not, we just, that's us, eh? You know, like my wife said, it's our therapy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, CC, I mean, do you put a, does, is it a patch for you as well? Do you get lost in the dancing? Like there's, there's certain things that somebody does where at that time, at that moment, nothing else matters. They're just lost in the moment. Is yes, that, I uh, do. You? That's like um, when I go, you know, sometimes I'm having a stressful week at home. You know, everybody does when you have teenagers involved or kids involved. So like, I tell Gabriel, let's go out. I just need to get away and hear some music. And that's our time for us to enjoy our life together. Just dancing, making all these friends, you know, socializing with our friends. And when I get on the dance floor, like I said, I may do the same move sometimes over and over, but I try to just follow the beat. And I, I learned a little bit more, but not too much, you know, like I should. But that, that bit, excuse me, that video right there. Um, what's that guy? Baby it? Bash. Baby Bash filmed it right. That's his filming right there. He filmed us on that one. Okay. Uh, he, he was or, in Visalia, California. Yeah, backstage. And, oh. They were with us again. Yeah, but yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, were with yeah, us. We were, yeah, <laughs> we were with you guys, man. That was uh ah uh, shoot, I forgot and the, the name one there. before you were there with us too. Yeah, I think this was called uh, La Raza. La Raza Biker. Yeah, yeah, it was anniversary, the uh, fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Gabe, talk and, uh, about we were just backstage. Bit. You know, we're just backstage, you know, enjoying the music, and that's what we do. We hear the music, and we just get, get busy. You know what I mean? It's like, 
we just do what we do. I mean, uh, it makes us happy. You know what I mean, it makes us happy. We could be at a concert and we could be in line, like to get a drink, and there'll be a DJ, and I'll talk it. Come on, let's let's entertain the the people standing in line, and we just start dancing. Next thing you know, everybody gets in the circle and starts filming us, cheering yeah. for us. Yeah. So it's yeah. fun. Yes, yes, because uh, there at that concert, that last footage. The concert was going on inside, and you guys went outside, not like outside of the facility, but outside where the where uh, you know where they sell drinks and everything. And you guys just started dancing. Yeah, they had a DJ out there, but the concert was going on inside. And man, people just started right. getting around, and it's like, oh damn, party's out here, man. And then I walked yeah. out there, man. You guys took the party out here, so you know, feed them at times, man. Said him, but uh, yeah. Let me go ahead. Hey, by the way, Gabe, you know, uh, you're saying you need to teach that. Hey, homie, don't forget about your guy right here, homes. All right. I got two left feet, homie. You might need to throw a couple of lessons <laughs> my way, got that so I can go ahead. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. Hey, and, but you can uh, drive that big ass rig. I can't drive that big rig. <laughs> you know, that's hey, that's uh, it takes you acquiring a lot of work right there to drive that thing, man. Um, uh, one thing okay. that was funny. Gabe knows how to flip his hat. Show them how you flip your hat, Gabe. Really. Yes. Just show them real yes. quick. Yes. We build it like that when yes. we go dancing. Yes. So one day I said, I can do that. So what I know how to do, uh, thank God I know how to do that. That's all I really know how to do. I know how to go all the way down when I go dancing. So I said, I'm going to get him and I'm going to make this, these girls scream for me. So I told my friends, scream for me right now when I go all the way down. They go, okay. So when we, I went out there, I went all the way down. And I flipped my hat and put it on. And then I I went down and Gabe's mouth just opened and paused. He said, you stole my move. <laughs> <laughs> and that was kind of funny, you know, and entertaining. Because yeah, right. I learned it. You know how to flip the hat. I practiced one day without telling him. In that video you were doing, Pepe Marquez video, I seen you too, flipping your hat, getting ready for that getting ready for uh, that show, huh? I, I, I was trying, dog. Yeah. I, I was trying, man. I was you trying. Good. Yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah, I uh, remember that. I, I was trying, man. Hey, Holmes, I mean, right here, you're kind of playing a character, but you guys do this all the time uh, where, you see, see, you go down, and this is like an iconic move where you go down and Gabe busts out the bandana and cleans the shoes. Every time that happens, everybody is just like, damn, hell yeah, like that's speed man as hell. Did you guys come up with that, or did it just happen naturally? Um, we were dancing and I went all the way down and then I stuck out my foot playing around and then I told Gabriel, because he always carries a bandana. I went like this, like shine my shoe, like as a joke. And when he did it, everybody screamed. And then now I do it every time, <laughs> every Friday and Saturday. Yeah, my back's hurting and I can't sign shoes no more, eh? <laughs> no, 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 don't sign shoes no more. <laughs> no, I just do it every time for fun. Hey, right there, right there. We're, I'm wearing a mask, eh? We just got out of the pool. We just got out of the pool and I'm wearing no socks, eh? So it's like equal to Sock check right there. I mean, but uh, I have an excuse because we just got out of the pool that day. And we were with yeah. our friend, um, what's his name? The video guy from second Bakersfield. Check. Oh, uh, Blue. Blue, and then second chance, and then they said, "Let's do a quick video." And my friends were there with their car, so that's when we did that video. We weren't even dressed up. We were just hanging out the pool, barbecuing. We just did it for fun, but it was fun. Huh? Yeah, it was. We oh, we out, also had uh, Chola Chula there. Chola Chula, yeah. We came out on a few videos with Second Chance. Uh, first one was a. Uh, was a sitting all alone, sitting all alone. Rocky Padilla, uh, and Rocky him. Padilla, yeah, yeah, playing guitar in that song, and then uh, another Khalifas, Khalifas, um, I love you for so many reasons, I love you for so many reasons, and then in the barrio, in the barrio, yeah, so we came out on quite a few videos with him, and then a few with Pepe Marquez, Pepe Marquez uh, Ray yeah. Carlion is, is really, really good yes. people, he took us under his wing, uh, uh, he's a really good dude, really good guy, he, check him out too, he's a really good musician, he used to play for Kiss, he played for Santana. Yeah, uh, not a El Chicano. He, he's really good. Uh, As a matter of fact, he's the one that always calls us up. Him and Rocky Padilla always call us up with the Latin All Stars on stage mm -hmm. to dance with them. And, it, and it's an honor because we dance, yeah. we dance next to Slice Stick of the Wicked. Um, to, to, uh, who else? Uh, Trex, what's his name? Trex. Trex, the one that plays for War. Oh, Tex. Yeah. Oh, Tex. 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 Um, Pepe Marquez. Um, Lulu Cardona. Yeah, uh, Tierra. Some of the know. ones from the Midnighters are all you know. The Latin All Stars are all somebody from something else. Right. So we met a, we met a quite a few people, you know, like homeboy uh, uh, Richard G. You know what I mean, another good dude oh, yeah. right there, solid yeah. guy right there. Yeah. You, you're the one that introduced me to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank God for that because he is a good dude. Yeah. 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 He is, man. He is. How did you guys, okay. 
because the first time I ever seen you guys was with Pepe Marquez. How did you guys get involved in getting into music videos? I know it's just like, hey, oh, well, they invite us, but how did that come about? Did somebody make a phone call? How did somebody reach out to you guys? What was the first music video and how did that uh, come about? Well, Pepe Marquez was the first one. He was in Oxnard playing in a band called Grooveline, right? Grooveline, that was his band. And when me and Gabriel, when he had asked me to marry him, I said, when I get married, I want that band to play for my family because he plays all my family's music. He says, well, go ask him how much he'll charge. So I went up to Pepe and I said, I'd like to know if you guys will play for our wedding. And he was like so honored because you guys are my favorite couple. And then he announced us after that. Um, he goes, I want to put you guys in one of my videos. So he was the first one to ask us to be in this video. And it's called I Want to Love I Can See. But when we went no, over no, there. No, 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 no. It's uh, uh, it was uh. <laughs> Let's take a trip. Oh, back. let's take a trip. Take but a when trip. we went, yeah. we went, we were in a hurry coming from Fontana because we had an event over there. We spent the night with my family. We drove back the next day, went straight to Santa Barbara. We get there and we run off the car because the video is going to start. I was all crudo, eh? And Gabriel runs off in his tank top and then he's looking for a shirt. He couldn't <laughs> find his shirt. So Pepper tried to lend you one. What happened? It was too tight. It was too or tight. Too, I only fit one arm. Yeah. So he was like, and then they go, it's okay. Wear the slingshot because that's like, Let's take a trip back in the day. Yeah, so huh? It falls in the same era, you know. So yeah. So that was all my, all my fatness and symbols, but uh no, it was all right. I mean, <laughs> I, say, I mean all my love handles and shit. Then we were in I want to love I can see. Right. Yeah. Then Monica Rocha asked us to be in a video with her as well. Um, we did three songs, right? Yeah. I forgot the name of the songs. Um Love you for so many reasons, and what else does she do? Oh, Rainbow and some yeah. other one. So people, people get at us. You know, they'll, they'll message us or they'll ask us a pre, you know a person or whatever. They'll ask us. Uh, uh, we do private parties. You know, they, they uh, ask us to do private parties. We we'll go out there and do a thing. I mean, we don't. We want to feel like we're part of the family. You know, I mean, we're we're not we're not somebody really special. We, I don't think we are. We are who we are, but we enjoy doing what we do. And if we could bring a smile to somebody's face, that's feed them. If, if we could bring. A, People can reminisce back back in the days how they used to dress, how they used to dance, and see us and, and just smile. That that's that makes it all because that's 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 something drug money and drugs cannot buy is reminiscing about the good old days and and how happy they felt at that certain era in time. You know, especially when they tell us, "You remind me of my mom and dad," or "You remind me of my aunt and uncle," or "My grandma and grandpa." Yeah. They used to dress like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they have tears in their eyes sometimes. Yeah. So I always hug them and tell them, oh, thank you, you know. Uh, they always tell us that all yeah. the time. Because we meet them like in comments. I try to I try to respond to all the comments, but there's so damn many of them I can't get them to all to them all. But uh people recognize that you know what? Thank you for taking the time to, to respond for us, you know, responding to us. And because the things they say, like this one German guy, he wanted he said he seen he seen the video of us dancing of the come and get your love video went viral. Because I seen you guys dancing right there, and then I knew I wanted to be like you. And uh, I texted back, well, we're, we're Chicano. You're German. You know, how can a Chicano teach a German how to dance? You know, and he, well, I want to learn. I go, well, it's a different mindset, different culture. I mean, it's hard to explain. And he said, I, he goes, I agree with that. But but just to know that another nationality, another culture wanted to be like us, like our culture. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to me, that was flattering. And that was like, wow, that made me, you know, cheer up because, like, that's 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 powerful when another, another culture, another, another personality, another – I mean, part of the Another world. Country, like yeah. what we have, yeah. you know? I thought it was I really, really uh, positive. positive. What well, you know what? Okay, something that definitely sticks out. Let's talk about the stilo, homie. Uh, you know, their style that comes with the dancing, but the stilo definitely is the topping on all the on on the right food. You're putting the right topping with the stilo. So let's talk about the stilo. Where does the stilo come from, homie? The Stilo comes from back in the days when we were Cholo. I was, you know, back in the days when we were Cholo. And then my uh, pop-locking experiences uh, growing up, you know, with my family, you know, uh, parties, uh, garage parties, house parties, and watching my uncles and my aunts dance. Um, you know, they're from the barrio, you know, in Norwalk, you know. My, my family's big. My family's huge, eh? I got 23 aunts and uncles, so the our family's pretty big. Line, I think huh? Our clothing line. Um, so they used to dress, you know, the way they used to dress. And my dad, my dad was a very sharp dresser, God rest his soul. He, and uh, I used to watch him how to dress. 
and he was sharp. You know, I sit back and admire how he danced because my mom and dad used to go dancing every like every Sunday. They go they call uh, trayadas because they were you know uh, tejanos. And I used to see him dance on the floor all the time. But my dad was a really sharp dresser, uh, so that's how I started dressing up. You know, dressing up like try to be like him, imitate him with his Stacy's and his Stetson's hat. And, I mean, he was he was sharp. You know, he would tell me Gabriel it was. You, no matter how much money you have, because you might have a dollar in your pocket, but as long as you have a nice pair of pants and some Stacy Adams and a nice shirt, you're good. You're worth a million bucks. And it's very true. I mean, nobody knows what you have in your pocket. Nobody knows how you live. But as long as you feel good, you look good, you are good, you know? And that's the model that that, that I kind of take on is our stilo is our stilo. It's our stilo. But people say you wear the same clothes, whoop, whoop, whoop. But like, you know what? You don't like it. Don't look, eh? You know, just... It's, it's more than clothing. It's it's our culture. You know what I mean? It's it's who we are as people. That we represent that people. You know what I mean? It, it's flattering that we could be in a position where we can have a positive outlook instead of a negative outlook. Outlook, because a lot of negativity out there against us, and we get a raw deal about that. But we give us something different to look up to. You know what I mean? Uh, a positive way instead of a negative way is a good thing for us. Yeah. No, man. Uh, just you know, just like you, man. I you, I get some. You know, good feedback is like, oh man, you know what? That's freedom and all your get down, your steel and everything. And then, of course, just like anything else, man, you get the people out there like, oh man, you know, you're stuck in, you know, the 80s or 90s yeah. or you, you, yeah. you know, you try too hard. Hey, homie, I'm not trying anything. Not, right. This is who I am. I'm not, I'm exactly. not, I'm not trying. This is who I am. Exactly. CC, girlfriend. Yes. How's, uh, oh, she's, how's, uh, steel right for you? Um, well, when I first met Gabe, that's what caught my eye, the way he was dressed. And it reminded me of the way my family used to dress and my dad and my uncles. So that caught my eye with him. So when we first met, he took me to, a, was it Art LeBeau concert? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was actually it was uh, another, another uh, nightclub. Oh, Katie Jakes. Katie Jakes in, uh, in, no, it was in uh, Ballon Park. Yeah, he took me there. And I was, I always wear high heels, even when I dance every. Every time we go out, I'm in high heels. So I was in high heels and jeans and a dressy blouse. But I seen that he stood out because everybody kept staring at him. And I used to wear, you know, chola stuff when I was younger. But as I grew older and became a grandma, you know, I kind of changed a little. But then um, when I told him, what, what are you going to wear to the concert? He said, beige and black. I said, well, I'm going to match him. I wore a dress and I wore beige high heels to match him. And I don't know where he goes, I bought you this hat. And it was a beige hat. And I put it on. As we get to the concert, a lot of people were saying, can I take a picture of you guys? Huh? Yeah. Everybody was taking pictures of us. So I liked that attention. And I liked it like, hey, you know what? I stand out like him. So then we go shopping and he would say, oh, I bought you this. Buy me vests. Buy me like certain stuff to, you know, match him. So then we started matching each other every weekend. And when we go out, it just stayed like that. You, you know, there, there's something that comes with dressing up, getting Bono root up. There's something that comes with it. If you never get ready, if you go that like, let's say you go an entire month where you don't have to dress up, you get up and you don't have to change your clothes because you got nothing to do or whatever it may be. Depression starts hitting in, you know, depression slowly starts hitting in, but. That's why yeah. I, I, always, I always tell people, hey, you know, once a week or sometime, once every two weeks, go out to eat or something. But where you got to dress up a little bit, you know, because it, yeah. it does something to your mind. Absolutely. Man, you, you you feel better. It's like you feel like, hey, man, like I'm taking care of myself. I feel good Absolutely. right now. So, yeah, definitely, man. And, and with you guys, I mean, you guys got the steel on lock. On stack. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that because you know what you're 100 right. It makes you feel good about yourself. Not only that, but we try to we try to to prove a point that we're not a statistic. You know, we're not like every, all the cholos or, or troll makers are all you know, hoodlums or all you know whatever they want to say about us. But there are Chicanos, cholos that are, have a good mente, a good heart, you know, a good job, and 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 can dress well, just like everybody else. I mean, just because our, our culture is is different than everybody else doesn't mean we're wrong or bad. You know what I mean? Our culture is our culture. That's all there is to it. They don't understand it because they're not from our culture. And they never will understand it. And it's all about respect. I mean, they don't understand our culture. They don't, but they they won't. So we're not there to try to prove them anything. We do it for ourselves. 
and we feel good about ourselves and uh, we carry ourselves with respect and, and manners. If people look at us, they go, especially the gabachos, they'll look at us and, and they'll trip out on us. And just, I mean, I, I don't know what they're saying, but they just they stare at us like, like you know, like I like want people in Vegas or that restaurant, they're just staring oh, at us yeah. like, like, oh, yeah, they were staring and they wouldn't take their eyes off. And then one of them told the wife, look at the way they're dressed. I love it. It's different. And they were really staring. And my friend was with us. She overheard what they said. And we thought it was nice, huh? The way they said that. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, speaking of that, um, one of my cousins, she has a kid from my biological cousin. Her name's Jen. They call her OGV Giggles. Well, she follows us on TikTok, her and all her friends, and they liked our steedo and they liked the way we dance. So she was having this big old birthday party. I don't know. If, oh, Gabriel mentioned her to you. He wanted you to do the interview on her. Her name's India from OGV. She was having a big birthday party and they put us on the flyer with them dancing and they wanted us to go out there. And so I told her, do you want us to bring second chance? They said, yes, we went out there and they have a lot of followers, huh? They have. Yeah. She's, she's good people. They're yeah. Very, people. very solid. Respectful. Her it's, it's India, Wicked, um, Mousy and Giggles. And uh, what are the other ones names? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. There's like a whole list. Yeah. A lot of them. OGV. It's called uh what? Original... Chop, chop it up with the chola. Oh that? no, that's a different one. There's yeah. this OGV. It stands for Original Gangster Veteranas or Veteranos. As a matter of fact, Frank's hat's a part of them, and a lot of people. And it's not a gang. It's just you're older and you become a veterana. He's he's you know dressed as gangster. He was gangster when he was young. I'm older. I'm a veterana. So you put it together. It's OGV, right? Right. And um, they're really good. They're going to, as a matter of fact, they're going to put this on their YouTube, share it, like it. And they have lots of followers. They're going to have everybody share it, like it for us. Yeah, they they uh, they they support Rasa. Like, you support Rasa by doing this. They support Rasa, too. I mean, it's, it's Rasa supporting the Rasa, and that's what we need to have. We need to have some, some, uh, some, some how do you say, a, a pat on the back, you know, to, you know, to inspire Rasa. Keep going. You're doing good. Keep going instead of dragging them back, you know. Sometimes right. we get a little envious or, or jealous of other other people, but we can't be like that. We should just say, you know what, you're doing a good job, homie. You know, keep it up, keep it up. You know, inspire them instead of talking shit to them. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys wear the same yeah. shit. You guys dance the same. Don't do all that. And it's coming from all hint. Their own race does that shit. Yeah. It's like, wow, really? Come on now. But they don't know <laughs> that Gabriel has about. I'm not even exaggerating. I don't even have a closet. Like about forty gray shirts, different <laughs> colors of grays. He wears under different vests, so it's not the same clothes. Um, different beige, like different colors. Some are cream, some are darker beige, some are tan. Different whites, different everything, huh? Colors, different hats. So it's not the same clothes, but it looks like it's kind of a similar style, right? Right, it's the same thing. Right. Well, you, you know what? Okay, so, something that you're touching on right there, Gabe, and uh, it's something I, I said uh, quite a while back was kind of like, okay, you know what? Like the way I dress and everything, the way I talk, the way I walk, the way I, that, that's who I am. Okay. That, that is who I am, but it doesn't necessarily need to make me a criminal. Right. So I said, you know what? You could turn the page, right? You could turn the page and just stay who you are. And what you alluded to earlier, you had said, you've met a lot of good people. So have I, you know, on the social media thing on YouTube and everything, Absolutely. I've met a lot of, you know, good camaradas, a lot of good handsome man. Absolutely. And uh, it, it's great, man. You know, all this social media, I, I, I hear it pretty often, right? It's all like, ah, it's nothing but drama. It's nothing but drama. If you allow yourself to get caught up in the drama, right? right. You don't have to allow yourself to get into the drama. Yeah, there's going to be people that get come at you and, oh, uh, you're trying too hard. Ah, uh, this food is, is fake, or you know, all kinds of masa, right? It's like, okay, cool, keep talking, man. You know, I'm not, I'm just gonna keep on doing what I do because it's what I do. It's making right. me happy, right. and I meet good individuals like you guys, like yourselves, you know. And we've hung out and partied, and I can't wait to hang out with you guys again, man. Got to take a trip back up there and go. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. We'll do it again, man. Absolutely. So, and one more, one more thing. Let me check. Let me uh, t um. How you say touch on this? Yeah. People, people also say uh, you guys live like, live in the seventies or the sixties, whatever. Or don't you grow up now? <laughs> this, that, and the other. They try to talk shit or bad talk yeah. you, whatever you want to say. But uh, this is like you were saying. This is who we are. The way our stilo is our stilo. 
doesn't mean that we, you, you meet a certain age that you're supposed to change. That you're supposed to be an old grandma or grandpa and sit there, you know, grow old. That's 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 past tense. You know, what I mean, that's that's not yeah. us. If I was to do that, then I'd be somebody who I'm not. This is me. If you don't like me, then don't talk to me. Don't look at me. But this is me right here. Well, grow up. Well, it's time for you to stop doing that. Listen to loud music. But that's who I am. Who, who are them to tell me what I can do with my own life? This is our life, not their life. Now, you can tell your kids that, but don't tell me that. I'm a grown-ass man. I'll be 58 years old. You know what I mean? You can't tell me how to run my life. This is what makes me happy. This is what makes her happy. This is us. Chicano Stilo. This is us. You know what I mean? And even at my job, they try to tell me, hey, change, change, your, change, your, change your outlook. Change my outlook? I'm not going to be a sellout to my head thing. You know what I mean? I ain't going to do that. This is who I am. I'll be like this forever. You know, it's just, it's just, it kind of pisses me off when people say that, but it is where it is. I can't control what they say, but they can't control me either. You know. You know what inspires us now, really yeah. quick. I didn't mean to be rude. Is a lot of my family. Um, you bet. And a lot of my yeah. friends, like my cousin Yvette Karen. Martinez. Um, she always looks for our videos and shares them and likes them and texts me if she sees us out there on any YouTube videos or social media. My cousin Karen Madueno is like one of our biggest followers, and she, oh my God, I love her so much. She, she'll try to put us on. What did she put us on? The Chicano thing on Facebook. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, she has friends with Everybody Car Club, and she's always supporting us. All my family always supports us. The OGV family always supports us. Ray Corrion, Rocky Padilla, and you know everybody, huh? Yeah. Our family in Fresno, they're always. Sharing our videos and we even uh, we even danced with Junior Walker in the All Stars. His son. Oh yeah. We danced with him as well. They call us to go dance with Lloyd. Him. His name's yeah, Lloyd. Yeah. So I mean, we, like you said, we met a lot of good people, good-hearted Rasa people. You know, backing each other up. You know, and it, it's good that this social media is out there because we wouldn't have known these people. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for like guys like you, you know, bringing us to light. You know what I mean? And it's a good thing. You you are bringing the Rasa together. You know what I mean? And that's a very positive thing. And, and I, I commend you for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, also hanging around with you and your wife is like a blessing because you guys inspire us too. Like, because you guys are always compliments or we compliment you and we have fun together as far. We have fun. And I feel safer on your local wife. (laughs) 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 Don't let nobody mess with me. (laughs) I mean, uh, you know, depending on uh, how she's feeling about me that day, sometimes I feel safer. (laughs) (laughs) It It depends. It depends if I mess up or something, you know, but. Hey, you know what? Let, let's talk about uh, what, what you guys got coming up because you guys are starting to get a lot more uh, notoriety. People are starting to notice you a little bit more. I'm trying to see you guys on flyers now. Okay, before it was just you know um, a certain artists that would be on there, and then you guys would would let me know it's like, hey, we're gonna be at this concert. We're gonna be at... now. You got now. I'm starting to see you guys on flyers where it's like, okay, cool. You know, you guys, your faces are being shown on flyers now. Where it's like. A at this concert or this event, yeah, this person's gonna be there singing, that person's gonna be performing. Oh, and then check this out you know, you got Classy Chicana and OG Gangster Boogie. You know, talk to us a little bit about that where you guys are starting to grow like that now. Yeah, uh, that, that's very flattering because <clears throat> normally you don't you don't see that stuff, you just see about the big, you know, the big, big people up there, and it's flattering to have us up there too because. I've always been. Uh, this is my thinking. If you you hear the music, you hear them singing, but they really can't dance as much as they can sing. Either they sing or dance. But when you're when they have somebody, say for instance, like us, like when Pepe Marquez calls us up the stage, uh, we go behind them, we dance, you know. And and to me, that's that's the top right there. When you see people singing and you see people dancing, them two together is, is a chemistry that that's a good thing. I can't get everybody to buy that, but but I think it's very positive because people can hear it and listen and, and reminisce at the same time. So they're all three things. They see it, listen, and see it, and hear it. And that's a good thing. Like I said, once again, that's the money. Money something can't buy. Drug can't buy that stuff. People would think back in the days. I mean, that that's very heartwarming feeling to see them do that. You know what I mean? So we like we like to uh, perform like that. Um, the one in San Diego is coming up with uh, Anne Han and uh, Anna Ham. Anna Ham in San Diego put us on the flyer, which is very you know uh, touch touching because it's in the middle of the flyer. So we feel like we represent Rasa. You know, and, and in a positive manner. So it's an honor for us to do that. And we're gonna sit at the table with who's gonna be there again? Uh, yeah, be What's uh, his name, the guy. Koda, uh, Koda will be there. That guy singer. Uh, Keith, uh, I forgot his name. Koda the barber. There'll be some uh, big people. Yeah, on there. Koda the barber, and right. then I forgot the guy's name. He wears a he's a very yeah, good singer. Keith, Koda, something like that. But uh, it, uh, what I was gonna say also was uh, uh 
Uh, I was going to touch. I was going to say. Well, let me. Oh, oh okay. Just check us out. Cool. Can people see us dance? And we see people dance all the time. Too, but I have this thing in my head there. I want to do something different. People see us dancing all the time. So they say the same shit. So I want to try to move to the next level. So I want to do something like, like, like opera. You know how opera is when you see, they hear the music and the people dancing that shows their emotions to that song. I want to do the same thing with, with our oldies. You know what I mean? I want to go through the motions and acting what they're saying to each other, but in our estilo, our music. You know what I mean? It's a Chicano opera is kind of a thing. So we have the opportunity for the first time to have our first showing in San Diego at uh, the concert out there. We're still mixing the music together. It'll be like like maybe 60 seconds of this song, 60 seconds of that song, and combined it. And I'll be singing to her. She'll be singing to me in different different songs. But um, <coughs> it's like a story. that at the end, we'll get down and we'll start dancing together. But I wanted to do something different. You know what I mean? So that's that's my... my uh, my, how okay. I'm thinking, how my how would you say is just my vision, I guess, my vision, what I want to do. Right. But uh, and we do perform with a lot of older people, so they could probably relate to the oldie but goodies, you know, right? That, that have right. really touching words, and then everybody's gone through what they've gone through, what they say, everybody's gone through it, you know, right. up and downs. Yeah. I mean, but to see us uh, reenact what they're saying is a good thing, so that's what I'm trying to bring into limelight right now, yeah. So well, basically, yeah. what you okay, so so. You're show, you're gonna be showing the song, right? Because people listen to it, people hear it, people feel it, but you're gonna be showing it, right? right. Like people exactly. are gonna be able to see exactly. the song in vision. I like that, man. Exactly. I like that. Exactly. Well, we did one in San Diego. It was I really love you, right? That right. one song. Right. And you know, when I um have a little little drink of tequila on me, right. I don't care if I sound like alfalfa, I just go out there and we're dancing. And I'm looking at my husband around the eyes and I'm singing the song to him. And a lot of people like that because I'm, you know, I'm singing away and dancing and we're following each other. And then he'll sing a part to me and I'm singing it to him. And we're in our own world. We block everybody around us out. And I'm just singing to him, like expressing my love. And next thing you know, we see all these people filming us because they like it because it's entertainment for them. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's what got us to think that, you know, let's, let's move on to the next level. Let's try something different, you know. Um, you see people on, Social media lip singing, TikTok, you know, social yeah. media, TikTok, everything on. But you see them trying to lip sing. We'll do a little bit of that, but it's more of emotion in the, in, in the, the movements that we have that we're trying to express to our, ourselves. Yeah. But our first one we're going to do is with Richard for Richard G, his song with him and um, Alvia Cardenas, So Long Baby. He's honored that we're going to do our first one. Yeah, I called him, song. I called him and asked him, you know, how to get permission first. You know, hey, I have something, you know, something stood up on my little pea brain. Uh, can we use your song? And said, so you told me I would be very honored for you guys to do that. So just to hear that was was touching for me as well. What? Your bandana. You, oh. But uh, you know what? So that, that's in the mix right now. No. Mm -hmm. That's in the mix. So uh, we'll see how well that plays out, you know. All right. You know what? Let me go ahead and throw this out there. I'm glad you guys realize that what you guys do makes people feel a certain way i remember we were out in redlands <laughs> i rolled out there on my bike uh <laughs> yeah. long ways too i remember that yeah yeah man i was i was just cycling and uh i remember uh without getting too personal but cc you weren't really feeling it you know and i remember you told me uh you're feeling down and now at that moment and that you weren't sure that if you wanted a dance and i remember i told you i said you know when you guys dance it makes people like happy it opens people up you know when when what you guys are doing when the music's going and they see you guys boogieing and everything like that the atmosphere changes everybody's all like wow you know what they're just lost in the moment just seeing you guys you know get down and everything like that and uh i'm glad you know, you guys have uh, are, are seeing that. Hey, you know what? There's a good thing. And look, look how many people are you know calling you guys up, and it's like, hey, man, you know what? Come up on here on stage. Can you be on the music video? You know, you guys are on flyers now. It's like, damn, man. I'm one day. You guys gotta have me on your podcast, huh? So, you know, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that day. What happened was, um, my son Gabriel. He was 30 years old. 
he was at, um, you know, it was broad day that he was at the wrong place, wrong time, baseball park. And um, they happened, it was like a, kind of a drive-by. They shot him and the girlfriend. So my son was just got out of the hospital and I felt uncomfortable. It was like a few months later, but, you know, him at home in bed, you know, waiting to have surgery and me over there dancing. I, I didn't feel right, but my I called my son right after I talked to you to check on him. And I go, I don't feel right being here, babe. You know, you're resting. He goes, mom, thank God I'm alive. I'm alive, mom. You enjoy yourself. You've been taking care of me, you know, and you love doing, that's what you love doing. You need a break. You've been here with me every day. Now it's your turn to have fun. But make sure you get a video so I can watch you, mom, and show my grandkids when I grow older, you know? And that made me, like, just say, okay. And I got went up there and I started dancing. And I was happy, you know? He inspires yeah. me. He's the one that always wants to look at my videos, my son. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, you know what? Just to uh, kind of start wrapping it up here. Um Anything in the works? Here we are in the beginning of 2024. Uh, I know, Gabriel, you are saying, homie, that uh, you got plans where you kind of like want, want to show the music. Um, a lot of people are kind of getting at you guys, man. Is there anything that you really want to accomplish? Kind of just, just do more of the same? Are you looking to do what you're talking about um, a little bit more this year? Yeah, that's what I want to focus on. Uh, I really do. It's a little bit of acting. It's acting in, you know, music. Um, you know, like the opera, uh, yeah. but um, I want to do it Rasa style. I mean, I mean our, our culture, our way we dance, and we, because, like I said, everybody, the only but goodies, everybody loves them. It's part of who we are. Excuse me, and and everybody's been through those situations of those songs. Every song, not every song, but every, they could put a uh, say you could put a story to each song, and we live either we live that story or we haven't lived that story. But nevertheless, it is a story, and to show the emotions, what they're saying. Is, is a positive thing and and i'll be like practice it in my head i'll be trying to think of music and i'll have like a tear in eye because i can relate to what they were singing about so in their case i want to show what they're talking about i mean something different that's what i'm, I'm trying to do right now yes. and uh something positive of course yeah 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 definitely man definitely so um you know what this is a time where we pretty much just wrap it up uh Gracias for both of you, man, for 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 jumping on, sharing your story, and Our pleasure. What, you guys, what you guys are doing. I love seeing you guys do what you what you guys do. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, it's always a great time, man. It's always cool hanging out with good people. It's uh, our pleasure. Guys. And I remember, I remember that day. You, hey, you told me I want to do an interview on you guys, and it's like, nah, I kind of shied away from it because I, I don't think I was, you know, somebody to interview us. And they kept asking me, and I go, nah. And then uh, we got hit up. Shy. Huh? Gabriel's very yeah. shy. I, I don't talk too much to too many people. I keep my crowd real close, you know. And and, and uh, one thing about Gabriel, when it's when a song comes on, I could walk in the place and start dancing. I'm not. I don't need a drink to dance. I'll walk in dancing. I'll tell him this dance. Hold on, let me get sauced up first. He has to have a few beers, right? <laughs> so up. he can go out there and fill it and dance. So don't forget, I'm 58 years old. I'll be 58, so it takes a little bit while for me to get going, you know. But once they get going, look out. I mean, <laughs> but uh, that, that, that's facts, homie. That that's dang facts. Well, check this out, man. Any shout outs? Any uh, any last words you guys want to throw out there? Any message to anybody? Anything? I'll give you guys the last words. The platform is yours. You guys go ahead and just say whatever it is that you guys want to say. Ladies first. Oh, okay. I would like to give a shout out to you and your wife. Absolutely. For always contacting us and why you know we hang out or we go to concerts or you guys go with us to Ray Corion's events or we go as far to go see Pep and Marquez. Or with you on your birthday, you invite yeah, us. Yeah, your you know. birthday, you invite us. So you and your wife, you know, first we love you guys. We love hanging out with you guys. We look forward to it all the time. And to a lot of my family and friends for always supporting us, and everybody here in the 805. Because when I first met Gabriel, I was very nervous to take him around the clubs because you know there's a lot of little videos and they gabriel stands out the way he dresses but when i brought him here everybody here in the 805 would stare at him and then they were all is he from la lake they the room the rumor got around fast because it's not that small Oxnard. It's, it's not that big and it's not that small but you know it got around fast that he's from la so they would come up to me and ask me and i'll be like yeah but when they seen him dance and they seen his style 
they went up to him and would shake his hand and buy him beers. And he has more friends than I do now here. <laughs> <clears throat> and now he brought the style here where all the guys wear hats like Gabriel here in the 805. We didn't used to see too many guys wearing them here. Oh, really yeah. So Gabriel really, he, he, got, he got well known over here. Huh? And up north in Fresno as well, he got well known. But I want to thank everybody, Ray Corion, Rocky Padilla, and Yvette, Pepe Marquez, Karen. and Yvette and Karen, and as well, Second Chance, for always including us in videos and calling us up on stage, all, all of right. you guys. Um, Pepe Marquez is a big, big time. I will shout out to him because not only he's a good friend of ours, but there'll be times where her family loves about loves the guy, right? Loves him. And he'll come out to a a funeral for her family. My uncle. And we'll ask him, hey, uh, the guy really likes you. Can you come out? And, and he'll come out from where he lives. He'll come way down here just to, to show up. He, twice he did that. You know what I mean? And didn't want nothing in return. You know what I mean? He did it out of love. Did it, did it out of kindness of his heart. And that's that that's that touched me a lot, too, because that's love right there. That's Corino. That's love, what he did. You know what I mean? So my shout-out <laughs> to him for getting us going. Uh, shout-out to uh, so many. Uh, Ray Carrion, you know, for putting us up there and following us and having faith in us. Rocky Padilla for uh, for you know filming us and being a good friend you are. Um, Karen, you know, Madueno from San Diego has her back. Yvette, your cousin. I mean, the list goes so on and on. And oh, all so the on, OGV but family. All the, uh, but you know what? Rasa, just Rasa in generally. Thank you for, for everything you've done for us, the support you've shown us. It, it, it shows that there are good people out there that has good positive things to say. So now to the youngsters, <clears throat> now – Show your show your badness in a different way. We all know you could be macho, we all know you be tough, but be positive in life. You know, you, you could dress the way you dress, but be positive. Be 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 ed, be educated about what you do. I mean, don't 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 be a traveso or a tonto because everybody's always watching. People watch, you know, especially where I work at. They don't they don't want me there, you know what I mean? But I'm still there. But I come out of it a different way, you know what I mean? So educate yourself first. You know, in, in, in a positive way. As well, uh, we forgot Jimmy Reyes. He always Jimmy pulls Reyes. us up on stage or gives us tickets for concerts or always says, this is the best dress in the 805. Huh? He's, right. he's, he's a good fan of ours, too. But, uh, like I say, our Rasa in general is, is good people. Just give them a chance. Give us a chance. You know, we, we can show you who, more than what you think we are. We're, we're good people. You know. Right. So, uh, Everybody, this is Gabriel's baby. That's my great Dane right there. He flipped her over at my daughter's quinceanera. Don't you have it on video? I, I, I do. I don't have it yeah. set up, but I did. I did drop a video. CC, where where can they find you guys? Uh, if anybody on, wants to start following you guys or anything? Where? where oh, where? on either. Um, he has um. TikTok. I have a TikTok account under OG Gangster Boogie. O dot G Gangster Boogie. Maybe you can put it down on, on your. Lying somewhere. Um, and on Facebook, classy on Facebook, it's uh, Gabriel and Cecilia Gonzalez. Um, and Instagram, I think it's the same. OG Gangster Boogie. Or Chicano Steel. Or Chicano Steel. Uh, we're new to the game. We don't. I don't know too much about this stuff, so I don't. Uh, I barely know how to try to put videos on, and but uh, it's interesting how to do and, that. Stuff. And you know what? If you guys ever want to come out and hang out with us, we're usually. Have sometimes an auction, but we go a lot, and we want to say thank you to our my good friend Ben that I went to elementary with. He owns Chinaland in Oxnard. We go there dancing a lot. And if it wasn't for him and my best friend Sylvia Ortiz, who promotes for the 805, we wouldn't be going a lot every weekend and dancing. And that's what inspired us, and that's how we became well known every weekend going there dancing and dancing and dancing. The couple around. in and up north who give us food. We walk through the hotels. They give us food and concert tickets. What's her name? Oh, Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, yeah. Hat yeah, off to you. The really good people. Me. Really good people. Her and her daughter. Um, for, I'm, forgive me. forgot your name, but that's... Oh, well, you're in my heart, though. You know what I mean? You're in my heart. Sandy, right? Christy. Christy. Yeah, Christy. Sandy and Christy. Um, okay. Like you. You, too. Huh? Like I said, you, you're the one who breaks the earth. And you bring us the rasa together. You know, my hat off to you. You know what I mean? Thank you for what you do. And um, hell yeah, what's his name? Oh, right. <laughs> Henry. Yeah. Henry, yeah, I call him hell yeah. What's his name uh, though? Henry. Garage Henry. Oh, Garage. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave you guys' contact pin in the comment section, so anybody watching, you guys can go down there and reach Absolutely. out. Absolutely. If they want us to, even if they want us to go to us to join them at a party, hey, 
we don't, we don't hold back. We'll go. You know what I mean, we're I mean, we're not gonna say we're too good. No, we'll go party with you guys because that's what we do. You know what I mean? So I want to have my family share this video. What do they look for under on YouTube? Gangster love or no? That's what Cholo, you Cholo Trucker. Oh, oh, Cholo Trucker. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get to that. But all right, okay. familia. As always, live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of surroundings. Now, let's keep it safe. This is blood makes you live, but loyalty makes you family. Until next time, this is Ed the Cholo Trucker That's for right. Classy Chicana, OG Gangster Boogie, Chicano Stilo. Over and out.